Let's go! Here we go! Chapter 3, lesson number 7. It's even more integration by substitution! Woo! So far, we have looked at how you would integrate the product of two functions, what you would do when you're dividing one function by another, and now what we're going to do is move on to lesson 3 of integration by substitution, which I'm calling manipulation, which you'll see why with this first example. So, lessons, examples 1 to 6 are in the previous lessons. So I'm starting now with example 7 on integration by substitution. Using u equals x plus 1, find the integral of x bracket x plus 1 cubed. Now we know from this that u is equal to x plus 1. So really what we would do is we would replace x plus 1 with u. So we would have x times u cubed times dx. Now what we would do is we would have to write this all in terms of u. So we wouldn't leave it as x times u cubed dx. So to write it in terms of u, what we do is we take our substitution and we've got u equals x plus 1. We differentiate u with respect to x, so du by dx will equal, if we differentiate this, we just get 1. Have u on one side, x on the other, so multiply both sides by dx, and we know then that du would equal dx. So, because du equals dx, it means dx is du. So if we're writing this in terms of u, we can swap dx with du, because they are equal. But what we are left with is this. We are left with x, and what we need to do is we need to find what x is equal to because the rest of it will be u cubed and then du. But we don't know what x is. So how would we find x? Basit, what do you think? Perfect. What we can do is we can look back to our substitute and we have u equals x plus 1. And what we need to do is we need to use that to write x in terms of u. So we started with u equals x plus 1, but if we rearrange this, if we manipulate it, manipulate the substitute, we can find what x is equal to. So x will be equal to, if you subtract 1 from both sides, x will equal u minus 1. Which means then we know x is equal to u take away 1. So this will become the integral of u take away 1. x plus 1 cubed, well u is x plus 1, so we will have u cubed. And then dx, remember dx was du, so du will be on the end. From there we want to integrate that, how would we do it next, Liam? Perfect, multiply out the bracket, so if we multiply it out, u times u cubed will be u to the power of 4, negative 1 times u cubed will be take away u cubed, and on the end we've still got du. After that we would integrate, so u to the power of 4 would become u to the power of 5, divide by 5. Take away u to the power of 3, if you integrate, goes to u to the power of 4, over 4. And you've got your plus c in the end whenever you integrate. After that, well, that is our answer in terms of u, but we want to finish it off by writing our answer in terms of x. How do we do that? Well, we just swap u with what it is, and we can see that u is equal to x plus 1. So we finish it by saying it'll be a fifth of x plus 1 to the power of 5, take away a quarter of x plus 1 to the power of 4, plus c. And that's example 7. Example 8. Using u equals x take away 2, find the integral of x plus 1 over the square root of x take away 2 with respect to x. So the first thing you're wanting to do, once again, look at the substitute. We know x take away 2 is being replaced with u. So here we would replace this x take away 2 with u. So really, we would have x plus 1 over the square root of u, dx. But again, don't write that. We want to write it all in terms of u. And to do that, we would take our substitute, u equals x take away 2, and we would differentiate it. So just to the side, differentiate. We're differentiating u, and the other side is x. So differentiate u with respect to x. That will give us 1. Multiply both sides by dx. We want u on one side, x on the other. So du equals dx. So we know then as well that dx is equal to du. So we can replace that there with du. 
What we're left with though in terms of x would be this x plus 1. And we need to know now what x plus 1 is. How would we go about finding out what x plus 1 is equal to? Holly, what would you do? Perfect. You can use that substitute. So our substitute was u equals x take away 2. If we manipulate that, we can easily find what x plus 1 is equal to. So first of all, I'm getting x on its own by adding 2 to both sides. So x equals u plus 2. And then to get u x plus 1, just add 1 to both sides. So I know x add 1 would be equal to u plus 3. From there then, well, if I rewrite this, x plus 1 is equal to u plus 3. The square root of x take away 2, remember u was x take away 2, so it's the square root of u. And the square root means to the power of a half. And dx, we found dx was du. So we can write that. Just make sure when you've done this that everything is in terms of u, which it is. Well done. So we can now move on with integration. But before that, we've got this u to the power of a half on the bottom. So we can do one of two things. Either we can think right well we're dividing u by u to the half, and we're dividing 3 by u to the half, and then simplify that. So u to the power of 1 divided by u to the half, well, it's the same base, subtract the indices, so that would leave me with u to the half. And then 3 over u to the half, move the u to the half to the top line, the index will become a negative, and that is it rewritten in a form that I can now integrate. What you could also have done is put brackets around the top, moved the u to the half up, and made it u to the negative a half, and then multiplied out the brackets. If you did that, you would get the same thing here. It doesn't matter which way you do it. From there, you want to integrate. So u to the power of 1 half would be, if you add 1 to the power, well, a half add 1 is 1 and a half, which is 3 over 2, and then divide by 3 over 2. Remember, when you divide by a fraction, though, you could flip the fraction upside down. And that would be the same as multiplying by 2 thirds. You would then integrate this part here. If you integrate that well, you've got negative a half, add 1, will be positive a half. So you'd have u to the power of a half. But again, you'd be dividing by your index. So you're dividing by that half. And dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by 2. Because we have integrated, what do we need in the end? Plus 2. You got it. And after that, well, we've got this 2 thirds u to the power of 3 over 2. We're leaving it as that. But we've got 3 times 2, so let's write that as 6. And because it's u to the half, well, that means the square root. So 6 times root u, and again, plus c. From there, we have our answer, but our answer is in terms of u. We want it in terms of x. So we just swap once again. We know u is equal to x take away 2. So we just swap the u in our answer with x take away 2. So it's 2 thirds of x take away 2 to the power of 3 over 2, plus 6 times the square root of x take away 2, and plus c. And that's how you would do that one. Next example, example 9, using u equals x squared plus 1, find the integral of x cubed times the square root of x squared plus 1 dx. So the first thing you're doing with this is you are thinking x squared plus 1 is equal to u. So in here, that would there become the square root of u. So I've got the square root of u. Perfect. But I've also got an x cubed and a dx. So I'd have to write both of them in terms of u. And to write them both in terms of u, you take your substitute off to the side, boom, 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 and you would write it down, boom, 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 and then you would differentiate. So if we differentiate u with respect to x, du by dx would equal, well, differentiate x squared plus 1, that's 2x. Get x's on one side, u's on the other, so multiply both sides by dx, and therefore du would equal 2x dx. What I want, though, is I'm wanting to find out what this x cubed dx is equal to. And what I've got here is I've got 2x dx. I don't have this x cubed dx. But what I could do is, right, well, I've got the 2 here and I don't need the 2. So if you divide both sides by 2, well, then I would have half du equals x dx. And what you need to do next is you need to think, right, well, I've got an x dx. So if we got rid of the dx, that's fine. 
And now if I got rid of an x here, it would leave me with an x squared. So really with this here, with the question, what you could do is you could write it as x squared times the square root of x squared plus one times, just take one of these x's and move it to the back just beside the x, uh, beside the dx. So x dx, I found out what that is. I know that x dx is a half du, so we've got that. So we know we can replace that with a half du. The square root of x squared plus one would become the square root of u, because I've got that bit there. But the x squared, I need to find out what x squared, do it in a different color, I need to find out what x squared is equal to. So how would you work out what x squared is equal to? What could you do? Perfect, once again, you can manipulate this substitute. So we need to write x squared in terms of u. So your substitute is u equals x squared plus one. But if you subtract one from both sides, then x squared will equal u take away one. So we have now found that x squared equals u take away one, which means you can sub that in in place of x squared. So we will have, if we write it all in terms of u, x squared is u take away one. The square root of x squared plus one is the square root of u. And x dx is a half du. Tidy that up a bit. And I would end up with, well, bring the half to the front. I've got the square root of u, which is u to the power of a half. And I've still got that u take away one. Just keep du on the end. From there, what you can do is you could say, right, well, that's going to be a half. And then you would end up with u to the power of a half times u. So u to the half times u, that's u to the power of one, a half, add one, one and a half, u to the power of three over two. I'm also taking away a half u to the power of a half times negative one would be take away a half u to the half, and I've still got du. From there, you can integrate. So a half will stay as a half. u to the power of three over two will be u to the power of five over two. Just do three over two, add one, uh, which will be three, add two, which is five, so it's five over two. Dividing by five over two, if you flip that, that's the same as timesing by two fifths. I've got take away, I've still got a half. U to the power of a half, if you add one, well, one add two is three, so it's three over two. And again, I divide by three over two. Flip that upside down, and that's the same as multiplying by two thirds, and plus C. From there, well, one times two over two times five will give us two over 10, but that simplifies to one fifth. So I've got a fifth of U to the power of five over two. Take away. Well, one times two and two times three will give me two sixths, but that simplifies to one third, and I've got u to the power of three over two plus c. And then from there, the final, final stage, Abdul. Brilliant, you can swap u with x squared plus one because we know u is equal to x squared plus one. So we'd have a fifth of, in brackets, x squared plus one to the power of five over two, take away a third of, and again, u is x squared plus one to the power of three over two, plus C, and that's your answer. Try some of these questions in the workbook on page 58. It's integration by substitution, but you are having to manipulate your substitute to get what you desire. Good luck. Have fun. Bye. So long.